A leak that was released months before we even knew Palpatine was in Episode 9 now actually seems really true. Don't get too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. Warning spoilers for Episode 9 in this video or not, depending on whether this leak is actually true or not, just, just in case. Warning spoilers. So hopefully you've watched the episode 9 teaser where we saw the ruins of the Death Star 2 and heard Palpatine's laugh after Luke said, no one is ever really gone. We then got confirmation that Palpatine is in fact back, which led to a ton of theories and speculation. From what Lucasfilm is trying to tell us, Palpatine has always been the main villain, even when he wasn't front and center in an episode. This brings us to a leaker who told us the plot of Episode 9 before we even knew all that. So now I want to break down what that leaker said and add in my two cents. The person wrote, Palpatine is back, but not how you'd expect. A copy of his consciousness is held within an item. The MacGuffin. The MacGuffin being in Episode 9 has been known for a while. What wasn't known is that it was going to be Palpatine's consciousness in it which kind of makes sense because we were told since we learned of the MacGuffin that it was going to be controversial for some and might make some people a little uncomfortable. And after the reveal of Palpatine being in episode nine, there has been some upset people. D just a little, <laughs> little bit upset. I mean, I can understand why the consciousness of Palpatine being in the Death Star 2 or some object in the Death Star could piss a few people off, and if that pisses you off, this next part's gonna piss you off too. So the, the leaker continued, He possessed a body and ruled as Snoke. When Snoke was cut in half, the consciousness returned to the MacGuffin. Now, if you're calling BS at this point, we know Sith can transfer their consciousness or their essence to an object, so this isn't too far-fetched, and you don't even need to have the object on your person or wear it for it to affect you and possess you. You can just be near it. So Snoke somehow getting to the Death Star 2, acquiring information, getting next to Snoke's artifact that he put his consciousness into, him then being possessed by Palpatine, does make sense. Honestly, it's, it's canon in Star Wars that that can happen, so... If you don't like this, if you don't like this plot, I'm so sorry, but it could happen realistically in Star Wars canon. This also might explain why Snoke was tricked by Kylo. Maybe it's difficult controlling another body, or maybe it matches Palpatine being distracted while his apprentice killed him. Seems to be a flaw of yours, Palpatine. Maybe uh, work on that shit. Anyways, the leaker continued. Kylo needs to destroy the MacGuffin to stop Palpatine from reclaiming the First Order through another host. The Knights of Ren return to Kylo with info on where they think it is. Kylo and Rey team up to destroy Palpatine once and for all. Twist, a Knight of Ren, Matt Smith, is already possessed when they return to Kylo and eventually turns on him. That part is weird because we had leaks for a while that suggested Kylo goes to Rey for help based on what the Knights of Ren tell him. So the fact that they're saying the Knights of Ren come back, tell Kylo about Palpatine, and then he needs Rey to help stop Palpatine for good, kind of connects a lot of dots. We also had leaks that Matt Smith was going to be a Knight of Ren, and also that he was going to be Palpatine, which was Really confusing, and some of us thought, okay, this is going to be a flashback of young Palpatine. But this plot actually makes more sense. Matt Smith is a Knight of Ren. He then gets possessed by Palpatine's consciousness or essence or whatever you want to call it. So he is essentially Palpatine. Palpatine is controlling his body. I mean, a lot of leaks right now are making sense based off of this person's plot leak. And I'm sorry he was disregarded so many months ago as being a crazy person. But what are your thoughts on this new leak? To me, it makes way too much sense with all the leaks we've had over the months, but I'd love to hear what you think and whether you'd love this to be true or not. Thanks so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe for more Star Wars videos.